Hello there. Today I'm very excited to share with you one feature that I've been using a lot lately in Premiere Pro and it has to do with audio editing. I'm not sure if you always have this struggle where your video clip is let's say uh, 3 minutes long and you have an audio that you really like to be used as a background music and that music is only let's say 2 minutes long. So there's a 1 minute of blank space. Um, so in the past, of course, what I do is that I will find a portion of the music and make it a loop a few times. Uh, in a way, it is it, it is a way to lengthen the music so that it, it fits for the entire three minutes video. Okay, just to give you a gist of what I meant. Uh, so here I have a video. Um, it's about 40 seconds long. But I have a music that I really like to use. However, the music is really long in this case. It's about two minutes long. So, of course, I couldn't fit the entire music into a 40 seconds video. I have to sort of identify which part of the music I like the most and use that part for that entire 40 seconds of my video. So normally, I would, you know, identify. So obviously, based on the pattern of the waveform, I can tell that um, this... Over here is one section and here is say another section, section B and here's another section C. So I had to be very careful in selecting the exact point where I need to cut the music. But of course that approach is pretty outdated uh, and it requires a lot of skills like you really need to know uh, which point to cut, which point is loopable, that is, you know, uh, can be lengthened seamlessly. So that was quite a tedious approach until I discovered what I'm going to be sharing with you today. So let me restore the music track. So right now what you have to do is just go to the Essential Sound tab. You can find it over here. While selecting your music track, ensure, ensure to tag it as a music. And then you could just use a preset. Um, I normally go with balanced background music. And what it does is it will sort of balance the loudness of the, the, the music and matches with your, um, your original voice track, for example. There's nothing much change here. Let me show you where is the remix feature. Let me, I have to blow this up. Okay. So the first thing is the loudness. The loudness has been auto match. This is because of the presets I used. Um, then there's the duration. Okay. Obviously the duration is not enabled at this point. Let's enable it. So there is remix and stretch. So for stretch, what it does is that it can stretch the original music. Let's say currently this music uh, ends at a minute and 55 seconds. So stretching it, you can go, let's say, go beyond it as 2 minutes and 28 seconds. And you can see that the music has been stretched to 2 minutes and 28 seconds. Let's hear how it sounds. So it's kind of like a, so it sounds to me like a slow motion effect. It, it maintains the, the pitch, uh, meaning the, the key is still the same. Uh, however, it's just sort of uh, in the slow motion. So let's revert to the original length. Now let's try the remix function this time. If I click remix, there is a target duration and remix duration. Now you can't do any changes to the remix duration but we can make changes to the target duration. So obviously right now my video is at, ends at 39 seconds and 17 frame. So what, what I normally do is that I just copy this time code over here and while selecting the audio track, I go to the target duration and paste the time code. So, so what it means is that I want the music track to sort of ends at this duration. However, the outcome may not be as it is. So uh, turns out the outcome is 47 seconds, but still lots of improvement from a minute 55 seconds down to 
now 47 seconds. So the length may not be ideal for your situation. So what you can do is that you can also drag this time code to your liking until it sort of uh, fits what you want. However, for my case, uh, reducing the target duration doesn't seem to change the outcome of the remix duration. Uh, lengthening does change the outcome. Okay, so uh, there, there is another way to use this remix function. So let me just and disable it. So obviously based on the waveform, I can tell there's a few sections, section A, section B, section C, section D. There's a few sections in this audio track. So I'll just pick uh, at least a portion. I don't have to be uh, accurate at this point. I just sort of roughly, I just want this, uh, this meter section here. I'll cut this section. I'll remove the rest. Now when I place it here, Obviously, there's still a big room to fill in order to, you know, end at 39 seconds. The music currently is just after, after I trimmed it, it's only 18, 18 seconds long. So what I'll do is I just go back to the remix, enable it, and again, paste the time code. Now, you can see that um, the length the duration is much more closer to my video length. And you can also see based on the waveform, uh, it is much more uh, uniform, right? You don't see sudden uh, changing patterns. Let's hear it. Awesome. I think it loops perfectly. I think the loop is perfect to me. Um, so that's basically it. That's how you use the remix feature. However, there are still parameters that you can play with. Like if you drop down the customized menu, there's segments, there's variations. I mean, uh, normally I don't really play with these settings, uh, but you feel free to explore. To me, even leaving it at default, the result is good enough for me. All right, that's all I want to share in today's video. I hope that you find today's tip useful in your content creation journey. For me, it helps me a lot. I personally am not a, a professional audio guy, you know, so I really appreciate a tools like this that allows me to produce a professional quality kind of audio. So I'm really excited to share this uh, the moment I discovered this feature. So as usual, if you like today's video, please give it a like. I would love to hear some comments from you. What are your best takeaways from today's video? And lastly, don't forget to smash the subscribe button so that you won't miss any of my future videos. And I'll see you in the next video.